Hello class, this is my promised final exam review. I am going to do a separate video for each one of these questions, just because as you can imagine, some of them can indeed get kind of long. And I want to make sure that they are in good sizable chunks. So that way you don't have to watch, let's say 50 minutes of video just to find the answer to one problem or why or how I should say, I got the answer to one problem. So let us begin with question number one. Suppose that the trajectory x of t comma y of t of a particle moving in the plane satisfies the initial value problem x double prime minus three y prime plus four x is equal to zero, y double prime plus three x prime plus four y is equal to zero, x of zero is equal to five, y of zero, x prime of zero and y prime of zero are all zero. And we want to solve this problem. We could kind of rewrite these two differential equations. I shouldn't say kind of, we can write these two differential equations as, this would be using our determinant operator, d squared plus four times x minus three dy is equal to zero for this equation. And then for this one, that would can be written, and I'm just going to group the x and y terms together actually. This would be three dx plus d squared plus four times y is equal to zero. And as the determinant, this makes d squared plus four negative 3d, 3d, and d squared plus 4. Calculating that determinant is essentially calculating d squared plus 4 times d squared plus 4 plus 9d squared. And we have to multiply out these two binomials to get d to the fourth plus 8d squared plus 16 plus 9d squared. This simplifies down nicely. Well, I shouldn't say simplifies down nicely. We could combine like terms to simplify it to d to the fourth plus 17d squared plus 16, which factors to d squared plus 16 times d squared plus one is equal to zero, which means we could form a characteristic equation as r squared plus 16 times r squared plus one is equal to zero, which then implies that our two roots, well, I shouldn't say two roots, but all of the roots of a total of four are positive and negative four i and positive and negative i, which means that our solution for x of t should take the form of, this is going to be a sub one times the cosine of 4t plus a sub two times the sine of 4t plus b sub one times the cosine of t plus b sub two times the sine of t based on our roots of that characteristic equation. Then we could take the derivatives, right? So the derivative of x of t, first derivative of, of x of t, I, sh I should probably make note. This is negative four a sub one times the sine of four t plus four times a sub two times the cosine of four t minus b sub one times the, 
This is supposed to be sine of t plus b sub 2. And let me make my capital B there a bit better. B sub 2 times the cosine of t. The second derivative, x double prime of t, this would be negative 16 times a sub 1 times the cosine of 4t minus 16 times a sub 2 times the sine of 4t minus b sub 1 times the cosine of t minus b sub 2 times the sine of t. Now, because, how does it as since, x double prime minus 3y prime plus 4x is equal to 0, we could then write this as y prime is equal to x double prime plus 4x divided by 3. And so we're going to have a big giant long equation, unfortunately. Please bear with me. But that is going to look like this is going to be y prime of t is equal to I'm going to write the simplified version of it. Since you would take x double prime of t, add 4 times x of t, and then divide by 3. If we do that, the simplified version of that is going to be negative 4 times a sub 1 times the cosine of 4t minus 4 times a sub 2 times the sine of 4t plus b sub 1 times the cosine of t plus b sub 2 times the sine of t. And we need to integrate both sides. So when we integrate, with respect to y. We are going to get the following. y of t is equal to negative a sub 1 times the sine of 4t plus a sub 2 times the cosine of 4t. plus b sub 1 times the sine of t minus b sub 2 times the cosine of t. And to continue on with this, let me just bisect my work here. If we put in 0 for the value of t for our equation for x, we would just get a and let me actually capitalize this to correspond nicely to what I'm doing. a sub 1 plus b sub 1 is supposed to be equal to 5. x prime of 0 would then give us 4 times a sub 2 plus b sub 2 is equal to 0. y of 0 would give us a sub 2 minus b sub 2 is equal to 0. And then finally, y prime of 0, that would be equal to negative 4 times a sub 1 plus b sub 1. And that's supposed to be equal to 0. We have a whole bunch of simultaneous equations. The only way for x prime of 0 and y of 0, the only way for both of these here to make sense well, I shouldn't say that yet. From y of, the y of 0 equation here, we could just move over that b sub 2. This right here tells us that a sub 2 and b sub 2 are equal. 
the x prime of zero equation up here tells us that b sub two is equal to negative four times a sub two. And this bottom equation here tells us that b sub one is equal to four times a sub one. The only way these two here would be equal is if a sub two and b sub two are both zero. Likewise, the only way for this to make sense along with this would be if we have a sub one to b one, which then means that b sub one has to be four. And therefore, our system of differential equations would be x of t is equal to the cosine of 4t plus 4 times the cosine of t due to the fact that the other terms then have this coefficients of 0, so they just are dropped. A y of t would be negative sine of 4t plus 4 times the sine of t. Again, those other coefficients are 0, so the t those terms are dropped. And this would be our solution for this first particular question. Thank you.